you that you're a great singer aside from your shower dreams me <laughs> just you <laughs> actually that's not no bad. she said you can actually sing because i never actually try what kind of songs can you actually sing like merry christmas that isn't me trying right now <laughs> i was gonna say like <laughs> the one christmas song <laughs> no i can sing like you know i did like a live lounge at school once and i played the piano and sang like actual songs like adele's um, ooh, what's that song that always made me cry? Set fire to the rain. Someone like you. No. Someone like you. Yeah, oh, it's excellent. Gonna be nice. Someone like you. Um, your song by Ellie Goulding version, not the Elton John version. I completely forgot that existed until yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> completely forgot that existed. I sang that, and I, I, I'm not bad. I also performed in, at my fashion show with my brother. We sang all of me with my John Legend song, like on stage in front of like hundreds oh, yes, of I people. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Erica. She has a channel called Moan Inc. Make sure to follow it. I'll put the link below. It's here too. It's all just ancient history stuff. It's really nerdy. So come check us out if you want to learn something. Tune in. Um, we have our cute little Christmas mugs. So cute. And our Christmas reindeer and hat. Oh my god, we feel, I feel so festive right now. I just wish that mine lit up. So you guys obviously don't know, but these hats have little buttons on them. No, now you know. Right, <laughs> so now we're all in the know. They have little buttons on them, and for some reason it doesn't light up. I just feel like it's such a waste. Like, who knows, yeah. it could have been a real fun time, but we don't know. And then I also have my Grinch socks. Cute. Love them. I have three different pairs. I'll show them in the next two videos. Do you actually? I have three pairs, yeah. Are they from Primark? Yes. Oh. Are they all Grinch or are they yes. like Cindy Lou? No, one? it's all Grinch. Oh. I love the Grinch. Yeah. I was hoping they would be different characters. Like no. the dog. What's the dog's name in the Grinch? Who Max. he like puts on the... Max. The <laughs> antler. Yes. <laughs> so I love the Grinch. <laughs> so in today's vlog, we're going to be doing a Christmas tag. So we're just going to go through a couple questions. Oh, look at that. Wow, they are really not stable. Oh, oh goodness. God. We're going to go through a couple questions, and then we're also going to do Pamela Rice Christmas workout dance. <laughs> Neither of us can dance, but no. it's fine because you're not supposed to really be able to. With she it. can dance well. Did she do like dance, like a dance career before? I feel like this? with her body type, she must have at some point she must because have. she has the body of a dancer. Yeah, she was like such an athletic, nice exactly. body. But she's also like petite athletic. She's Which is beautiful. very much like ballet dancers always have like a petite athletic figure. I wish, like she's our age. No, don't say that because it makes me upset. Okay. Woo! So a few of them, I'm going to guess your Christmas movie or like Christmas whatever. Mm. And you have to guess mine. There are some where it's like a, a like family memory or something where you just tell me yours. Okay. All right. Sick. Awesome. Well, favorite Christmas movie. Your movie. Oh, I don't know. I oh. know yours. I know. The Grinch. Well, yes, I know. <laughs> I've said it so many times at this point. If this was a point system, I'd be winning over you. <laughs> oh. You probably won't guess mine. Is this some random, like, obscure one? No. It's a Wonderful Life? Yes! Oh! <laughs> that is my favourite Christmas movie. <laughs> oh! It is an obscure one, though. No, I love it because it's like, he understands the importance of, like, Christmas and family at the end yes. of it. Oh, I love it. It is a good film. I'm not going to... And kind of James falter. Stewart is just... I love him. So, incredible. I think that I only watched it once when I was, like... 17. Oh. So I don't remember much. No, it's my dad's favorite Christmas movie, which explains a lot about my dad. Um, but that's his favorite Christmas movie, so that was one that we watched like every year. Then my mum was The Holiday, so yeah. we watched that one all oh, the time. Oh, The Holiday's excellent. Fabulous movie. And then my dad would be like, now it's my turn. So my <laughs> second favorite Christmas movie is Love Actually. That's a fabulous choice. It is. That's and I really cry every single time. The whole storyline with Professor Snape and Emma oh, Thompson. Traumatic. It breaks my heart. That one's it not okay. It really does. And I watched it for the first time in first year of uni. That late? I'd never heard of it before. I feel like I missed out on so many like British um, oh. things when I lived in Switzerland. Like but we didn't know any of this. To be fair, like Love Actually is such like a British it is, culty but film. That but it's all international. of those films. Yeah, but they're so culty here that it's like, oh, we just all love them. Yeah. Are you on the naughty list or the nice list? 
I feel like you're on the nice list. Look at this present. I have four gifts. <laughs> Hello. One of which is from Debbie's. <laughs> <laughs> I've given you multiple gifts, actually. Where are True. the other ones? Well, I opened them. So this one is still in the plastic. Oh. I, I was going to add a bow. I couldn't be bothered to add that. <laughs> I'm sorry. So that's fine. Um, well, I'm definitely, I think I'm on the nice list. I would like to think so. Oh, of course you are. Because I haven't left the house, pretty much. So how can I possibly be on the naughty list? True. The only place I've gone is to yours, <laughs> which is a support bubble. So. Excellent, yes. So you've been following the rules. Exactly. I think I'm on the nice list. I, you're... You are definitely on the nice list. You have been following the rules from day one, like have never breached I, them. She is- I have, it's been hard. Like literally verging on anal on the rules. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. I mean, I feel bad if I don't because- but This is why you're on the nice list. Okay, right, so I'm going to pop it here, but we have to show an embarrassing Christmas picture of ourselves. Okay. So you have one? Yes, I have one. Okay, how old were you? Uh, I want to say I'm about three in this photo. I love the baby pictures. I'm like, my dad, I remember he put me in a Christmas, in a like, um, oh, what's that thing called where you put a baby in and then it just like sits there? I think it's literally called a okay. bassinet. Right, well, he put me there and he put lots of like um, beers around me with a Christmas hat and I just sat there like, stop, that yes. is so cute. Wow. So you're like a baby baby though. I'm a baby baby. <gasps> But I might not do that one because. Mm, oh no, you so. should do that one. That <laughs> but there are so, so many embarrassing ones I have. So. See, I only have the one embarrassing photo. I'm like three, and it explains a lot about who I am as a person. Like every time I look at that photo, I'm like, that was my entire childhood. I'm just frowning. Like that's it. I'm literally sitting next to Santa, and I'm frowning as if have like. Have I seen this? Probably. I post it all the time, like yeah. every year, because yeah. I'm like, this explains me with every single holiday that people tell me to play along with. Ever yeah. since I was a kid, I'm like, why? Why don't I'm you do like this? such a I love Christmas and I love to like push people to love Christmas. And like, I know you've done it to me. My friend um <laughs> Sophie, like she hates she's such is it like Bar Humbug? Is that how you call Um uh, what's his name? Scrooge. Scrooge. She's such a that and she she hates Christmas. And like we lived together in second year of uni and then every year after that we would see each other and I would always like blow up at her and be like listen to this christmas movie watch this christmas movie like wh you wear this christmas jumper i was obsessed and now <laughs> she's like grown on it like she likes it now she's slowly getting there yeah slowly like five years later <laughs> but like i'm getting there slowly so i'm working on you slowly but surely and it's not that i ever disliked christmas i want to clarify that i never disliked it i just didn't get it and i still don't what necessarily get? get it because like my older brother, for example, he's like super religious. So I get it for him. Cause he like goes to church yeah, I'm and not religious whatever. Either. See, I'm not. So I've always been like, why do I have to play a part in this? It's just the spirit and like being around friends and family and like giving people presents that they want or that something that reminds you of them. That's and then cute, just- though. But that like, part I like, I like the present giving part. Festive things I like, I just don't understand Christmas day and Eve. Okay. But having like a season, yeah, totally fine. Okay. Next question then. How do you celebrate? When do you celebrate Christmas? Like when mm. you give Christmas presents and like have the dinner and stuff. So we've changed it over the years. So when I was younger, we used to open like one present on Christmas Eve. We mm -hmm. were allowed to because my mum is Italian. So she would celebrate things on Christmas yeah. Eve. And then my dad is Canadian. So then it was Christmas Day. Then it switched like halfway through my life. But all of a sudden we started doing Christmas Day. And then instead of having like celebratory meals, we have lasagna on Christmas Eve. <laughs> That's weird. Because <laughs> my mom is Italian and that was the only thing that all of us would eat growing up. Lasagna. Of, yeah, we wouldn't eat any of the other things because you would make like fish okay. in Italy. So we wouldn't eat that with picky eaters. So she made lasagna and we have never not eaten lasagna on Christmas Eve. Okay, and what do you eat on Christmas Day? Turkey. Okay, you. Um, I, so my mom's German. So we would always celebrate on Christmas Eve, and we still do. So we have dinner at eight, and we have lamb, which is weird, I think. Um, I don't think it's necessarily weird. At least it's just an Easter thing. It's not a Christmas thing. Oh. Yeah, but I don't really do Easter, so I just see any meaters. Yeah, neither do I. You just, hello, I just said I eat lasagna. Like, <laughs> True. I can't judge lamb. Um, so we have that, we have green beans, we have like five different types of potatoes, because us German people love potatoes. Sounds um, like a house I want to be in. <laughs> and then we have Christstein, which is the stolen that you guys call with the white sugar on top. Oh, and yes. it's like Mars pan inside. Um, and that's for like, and then we open presents um, after dinner uh, on the 24th. Oh. And we always have one Santa. So someone who 
like grabs the Santa hat first is Santa and like gives out the presents and we all have to open it in front of each other and be like oh blah, blah. That's but so my dad's family so the, my Peruvian side whenever we spent Christmas with them we would celebrate on the 24th have dinner like a turkey like all this food but we could only have it at midnight and we can only eat Christmas we can only open the Christmas presents after we eaten so everybody's in a really bad mood because everyone's hungry uh, okay you have to take a nap before that there's got to be a strategic nap that day there does and there does yeah and like so many kids are there as well so like strategic five, naps for them all literally, <laughs> Just, and I don't understand how I used to always stay up but I don't understand how when I was a kid they would explain to me how Santa came Oh, when you were all awake. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, did I ever believe in Santa? I don't know. Although I do remember children, if you're watching this. <laughs> switch it off now. Switch off. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> the day I found out that Santa didn't exist, I remember it vividly. Really? Vividly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, tell the story. We were living in the States, and my mom had given, given me a Christmas present, and she'd written um, from Mama to Debbie. And I was like, cool, thanks. And then I opened the second gift, and it was the DVD Raise Your Voice with Hilary Duff. <gasps> I loved that movie. Oh, that's incredible. But it was um, To Debbie from Santa, and it was an exact same handwriting, and I opened it right after each other. So I looked at it, and I was like, Mama, is that until? <laughs> so I freaked out, and I was like, this is the end. And my brother, he was like two at the time, or one even, so I, I couldn't ruin it for him. I don't think if he ever, I don't know. I feel Ralph, like, do you still believe in Santa? Please leave a comment. <laughs> For you? Do uh, you remember when you... Oh! Yeah, I remember my mum just told me. I was at my grandma's house in the US. So in like New Jersey, my grandma lived there. She I don't know why she lived there, because she barely spoke English, and yet she chose to live in New Jersey. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, she I would love that. She would literally, they would only was talk to like other the Sicilians. Italian district? No, so they used to live in Brooklyn, which was the Italian district. Yeah. So my mum never associated with anybody who wasn't Italian. <laughs> And then they moved to New Jersey, like when my mom got older or whatever. And then they had like a little community of Sicilians. But ah. I don't even know. Either way. But I remember being there and my mom, I was like eating breakfast. And my mom just like came in and was like, hey, so you know that the Easter Bunny doesn't exist? And I was like, yeah. Like, that's I didn't obvious. even know that was a thing, to be honest. Yeah, well, I mean, I, had n I don't think I had ever believed in the Easter Bunny. But my mom I believed in the Tooth Fairy. Me oh, yeah. I did too until my dad woke me up accidentally. Because he literally pulled up a pillow and I just like rolled off it. I was like, what? <laughs> my dad was like, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's ruining it. It was like useless. But yeah, my mom was like, oh, you know, the Easter Bunny doesn't exist. And I was like, obviously. And then she was like, great, Santa doesn't exist too. And I was like mid spoonful and she had just walked out of the room and I was like, what? <laughs> I have a question though that's probably not on the list. Oh. What is your favorite Christmas song? I've been asked this like five times in every single one of my vlogs and I still don't know the answer. <laughs> It is either, and this is like controversial sometimes, but it's the hap War's Over, Happy Christmas oh, by uh, John Lennon. Yeah, what is, is that it? song called? War's Over. Oh, is it Happy Christmas? Oh, I didn't know. But Something yeah. like that. And then also the Buble album, just like all of it. <laughs> all of it. Michael Buble is only ever relevant <laughs> around Christmas, and everyone's like, yes, <laughs> crank it up. <gasps> He's just, he, he like soothes my soul. He has a very angelic voice. He does. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, here. <laughs> What's yours? Fairy Tale of New York. Hands down. You hate New York though. No, but the song is not about New York. The I've song is about, oh my goodness. The word. I, sang, I sing to it, because I have a wonderful voice. <laughs> I sing to it, but I just don't know what I'm singing about. No, the song is about these, this couple who hate each other. And it's around like the family. Oh, is this where they say the bad words? Yes. Because oh. they're yelling at each other in the song. You know that they've changed like the words on the British radio? They have. I mean, they have to. But they t let me tell you, down at my pub, they do not change those words. <laughs> when that song comes on, which during December when we usually open is like four times an evening because people come in and they're like, can you play Fairy Tale of New York? And people scream it. Like, it's I have videos. Song. I'll give you a video to include in this. Yes. Of literally the regulars, like, banging the ceiling and screaming this song. Oh, I it's love that. crazy.
favorite Christmas dessert? Here's another question that's not on the list. Dessert. Um, mm. I love. I love. I was gonna say, ich liebe Kristall, Lebkuchen, the the like German gingerbread dark chocolate oh. with the okay yes like church bread thing at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> good, good miming. <laughs> um, panettone. Which oh is yes, Italian. <laughs> love panettone. No mince pies. That is not a thing. I don't like mince pies. It, Controversial opinion. Like, they're decent, but it's not... Like, the, the first time I had a mince pie was, was when I moved here. Mm, yeah. I'd never heard of it before. There's, like, the Christmas pudding. Oh, don't like that. Don't like that either. Mm-mm. Um, I don't know. I'm not much of a, like, sweets person. I don't mm. like desserts as much. I love panettone. We have, like, ten of them under <laughs> my mom's bed. I've mentioned this previously. She's already called me. She already said she had, like, five. <laughs> um, She's stocked up. She does. She does. <laughs> also, in Switzerland, apparently, they've decided that they're going to close... My mom was raging this morning when she called me. She has to shop on the 23rd because the shops are going to be closed the 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th. So she has to have food oh for my breakfast, God. lunch, and dinner. And she doesn't know I'm coming home. So I've told my dad, being like, yo, can you make sure there's enough food for me? <laughs> make sure they're stocked up on something for me. Uh, but what's yours? What was it? Dessert. Oh, dessert. I just like shortbread. Just, that's like... A general dessert. Yeah, but I find that when you cracker. get them in like Christmas tins, though, it makes them Christmassy. Oh my god! And then you get them like Christmas shapes. So like, oh, you like? Do you like the tin boxes, like the M&S? Yes. Tin boxes? Oh my god, you're my mother. Oh my god, I love them. <sighs> my parents started buying them when I was like younger, and I used to be like, Ugh, adult biscuits, stupid. And I used to just want to have like my custard creams or whatever. And then I think it was the first or second year of uni when I came home. We didn't have any other biscuits. So I was like, dunk these in my tea. Changed my life. <laughs> I was like, wow, I judged these far too quickly. Shortbread is good, but when you have one, you like eat them all. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's dangerous. Yeah. Which is good for having my whole family home because there's six of us. So someone will shame someone. Yeah. If we were eating too much, someone will be like, I can't have any more. I've only had one. You're, you're easy to shop for then. Me? If I'd known yeah. about the M&S ones. I have to buy my mom every single year. She calls me around this time and she's like, have you been to M&S? I'm like, no. Every single day <laughs> she calls me and asks me this. And I went to the shop the other week and there wasn't any new box that she didn't have. She has at least 30 at home now. Over, over the tins. like five, yeah, over the five years that I've lived here. Not just Christmas, it's Easter as well. It's St. George's Quality. Day. They always have a new one there. We've got lots of those tins in the cupboard as it's well. It's unbelievable. Why Love do you it. need so many? Well, then sometimes, so if we have like multiple then, because there are so many of us, if we have to go and buy more shortbread, you can just buy not like a box, not a tin. Right. So then we just take out the sleeve and we put them in the tin. No. So that way it's like, oh, it's always pretty. Unnecessary. Love it. All right. So those were our Christmas questions. And we're going to do a Christmas jam so I'm so excited. You haven't finished your tea. Oh my God. No. Isn't it cold? No. So I like my tea room temperature. You want to know a fun fact? I hate wet tea bags and I can see them right there. <laughs> I was thinking about getting a bowl just... earlier, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to have the plate because that's what I usually use. But I was it's like, disgusting. Debbie's going to get irked by it. It's disgusting. Because <laughs> they're right on the table. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Just come in to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do 
We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the wind blows and the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand you Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my heart Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. Morning as well. Merry Christmas. See you guys.